This is problem number six of the International Math Olympiad of the year 2013. We have examined the proof of the theorem formulated in this problem in the previous video lesson. In this video lesson, we will illustrate that proof on examples, which will make it easier to understand it. Let's construct all the beautiful labelings and count them for an arbitrary number n. For example, n equals 5. As we proved in the previous video lesson, any beautiful labeling consists of groups of integer numbers that do not overlap. Each group is an arithmetic progression which is arranged in the increasing order of its members. We will write these groups of numbers in the columns of this matrix. The first column of this matrix is an arithmetic progression whose first two members are 0 and x, where x is any integer number from 1 to n. For the first case, we'll select x equals 1. Since this arithmetic progression includes all the integer numbers from 0 to 5, the entire labeling in this case consists of just one first column. Note that such single trivial labeling exists not only for n equal 5, but for any natural n that is not less than 3, which has at least one quadruple. Now let's do it for x equals 2. In this case, the first group that we write in the first column is an arithmetic progression with the first two members, 0 and 2. That gives us three numbers, 0, 2, and 4. And in the second column, we write the group of remaining numbers, which are members of the second arithmetic progression whose first member is 1. We denote it by letter Y. This pair X and Y determines the unique beautiful labeling for any natural number N not less than 3. So the resulting beautiful labeling for 5 is the sequence of numbers 0, 2, 4, 1, 3, and 5. The total number of beautiful labelings for x equals 2 is 1 because the number of integer numbers that are less than 2 and co-prime with 2 is 1. Each pair x, y uniquely corresponds to the pair y and x minus y. These two numbers are 1 and 1 whose greatest common divisor equals 1 and whose sum is equal to 2. The next case is x equals 3. We will write the arithmetic progression with the first two members, 0 and 3, in the first column. We'll use the formula for calculating the value of the Euler's function, which shows how many numbers are there that are less than 3 and that are co-prime with 3. There are two such numbers, 1 and 2. So each of the two columns that start with these numbers can follow the first column that starts with numbers 0 and 3. The total number of beautiful labelings for the case x equals 3 is 2, since there are two defining pairs of x and y, 3, 1 and 3, 2. They correspond to two pairs, 1, 2 and 2, 1. Each of these two pairs consists of two co-prime numbers whose sum equals 3. Next, we'll construct all the beautiful labelings for the case x equals 4. The Euler's function of 4 equals 2, and indeed we have two numbers that are less than 4 and co-prime with 4. They are numbers 1 and 3, so the column that immediately follows the first column can be either the column starting with number 1 or the column starting with number 3. But here, for the first time, we have a dilemma in which order must the remaining column go? The answer to that is that the remaining columns go in the increasing order of multiples of y. 
So if y is 1, then columns go in the natural order as they are written in this matrix. So the first column will be 0, 4. The second column will give us numbers 1 and 5. The next column gives number 2. And the last one gives number 3. The other beautiful labeling has the second column starting with number 3. Then follows the column that contains number 6, and then the column that contains number 9. That results in the beautiful labeling 0, 4, two numbers from the first column, 3, 2, and 1, and 5 that belong to the last column that contains number 9. This matrix shows that multiples of 3 are always arranged in the increasing order in any beautiful labeling, with the exception of those numbers multiple of 3 that belong to the first column. For example, two consecutive multiples of 3, 9 and 12, are not in the increasing order in those labelings that contain number 12. However, this doesn't cause a problem because number 12 is also placed before the base number 3. We will see it in the following examples. We have proved in the previous video lesson that any beautiful labeling whose second group starts with number y equals 3 must have any two consecutive multiples of 3 to the right of 3, arranged in the increasing order. Three examples a, b, and c have three quadruples, which all have two numbers, 0 and 3. Example A has the correct order of 6 and 9. This quadruple is balanced and valid. Example B shows incorrect order of 9 and 6 that are to the right of 3. This quadruple is balanced but invalid. The two chords connecting pairs 0, 9 and 3 and 6 intersect. Example C also has two consecutive multiples of 3, 12 and 9, where 12 is to the left of 9. However, since 12 belongs to the first column, it is positioned to the left of number 3, and that's why this quadruple is balanced and valid. The two chords that connect pairs 0 and 12 and 3 and 9 do not intersect. An example of a beautiful labeling that contains quadruples A and C is shown below. In this labeling, N equals 12, X equals 4, and Y equals 3. The last case is X equals 5. The value of Euler's function of 5 is 4, and indeed there are 4 natural numbers that are less than 5 that are co-prime with 5. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Quantity 4 corresponds to the number of pairs 5x and to the number of ordered pairs of co-prime numbers whose sum is equal to 5. When a column starting with number 1 is selected as the second column, three other columns follow in the order of increasing multiples of 1, that is 1, 2, 3, and 4. When column starting with number 2 is selected as second column, it's followed by columns marked with purple spots that have numbers multiple of 2 in the increasing order. When column starting with number 3 is selected as second column, it is followed by columns marked with green spots in the increasing order of multiples of 3. And finally, when column starting with number 4 is selected as the second column, it is followed by columns marked with pink spots in the increasing order of multiples of 4. This results in four beautiful labelings that are written at the bottom of the screen. The total number of beautiful labelings for number 5 is the total of numbers that we calculated for each value of x. The total is 10. In a general case, for any natural number n, the total number of beautiful labelings, as we have seen, equals the sum of uh, values of Euler's function for each x from 1 to n. The value of Euler's function of 
number one is by definition equals one and the values of Euler function for all other numbers x from 2 to n equals the well-known formula. This completes this lesson.